Welcome to paradise. This is a little less known part of Iloilo that, well, it's taken me over a year to come here and I can't wait to show you how absolutely beautiful it is in this part of the world. Back at the port, much, much better day for this island hopping to Higantes. There's two different islands, Higantes. Then there's gonna have two other stops as well. Lunch is gonna be included. This is gonna be great. It is perfect, absolutely perfect. A little hot, but that's okay, that's okay. There's gonna be a lot of water. I did get water shoes, somebody sold them to me here, uh, but unfortunately when I put them on, no, no. I can't even wear socks yet on this foot without it hurting. Uh, the infection's all gone, I've been taking a lot of medication for that, so it's, swelling is gone, but it must have been like a hairline fracture or something like that, so. Ouch, but whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so uh, today's gonna be huge, huge, big day. I'm so excited for this because this is one of the most beautiful islands in the entire Philippines. And you're about to see it for yourselves. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I got a rocket ship or a boat, but I gotta go find Apollo 13, he said. I think he was joking about the 13 part. Tinda. That's where I heard my name. There it is. There's the Apollo 13 right there. I don't think it's going to the moon. I have a feeling we're we're going to an island. We're off. I don't think it takes that long to get up to the first one, so we'll be there real soon. It's actually one hour from the port to get to the very first stop, so uh, you can have a nap if you want. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, brother. There's Arnold. Hello, how are you? All right, well, there you go. So you can just move right in here if you want, but first storm you're gone so it seems they uh, they build all these little rock statues good thing to do with the rocks I guess by the way there's a 2,500 peso fine if you take any shells any rocks or anything from this area I think there's six different islands out this way. I don't know if we go and see all six. I think we only see like three, four, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. And we don't get back till like four o'clock in the afternoon. So to give you an idea, that's 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. guys growing their own food so this is just the teaser island we're heading to the better islands very soon they're just building you up in order to get to paradise Tankilan, Tankilan Lagoon. All right, cool. Ow. Hey guys. Okay, begin. 
more boats coming in so same three boats essentially we're all within a minute of each other oh it looks gorgeous down here there oh wow wow you do have a monkey absolutely paradise man wow and that monkey's still just chilling there hoping somebody's gonna come with something wow the water is so, so cold it's almost like mountain fed it feels like What's super crazy about all of this is that the Philippines is made up of like 7,000 or more islands. There are many that most people have never been to. Just some locals, that kind of thing. Small little islands. And who knows, there could be other gems out there that people just haven't discovered. Well, some people have discovered, but they haven't shared it with the rest of the world. So they remain like hidden gems. It's a lot to see here in the Philippines. And this is just the beginning because they still have the most gorgeous island, which I believe is not till after lunch. So we're gonna go around the island now and have lunch on the other side uh, where a lot of the locals actually live. So that's really cool. And yeah, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring and a little less eating so that I have a little bit more time than the other people. Look at that, it looks like I'm the only person here, but there's a whole crowd right in front of me nice and quiet when the when the boats go they're only going in threes between that there's probably nobody here we can get a private boat show up in between them so they have a cliff diving area here right there it's, it's cliff diving area so you can jump off but i don't know the boat might be in the wrong spot unless you dive maybe right here but i don't know that at least seems a little shallow for that somewhere maybe over there so the famous island is straight across that's the one that you see in all of the advertisements straight across so it seems that you only get so far in and then you gotta walk through the water so make sure you're definitely wearing something that you can get wet because that's as far as I can go right now the water is not very deep going up to the shore. I'm not sure, but I think because they have a limited amount of seating, they, they can only seat so many people at a time. And we got to kind of chill on the boat here. Okay, so it's about 20 minute wait, maybe a little bit more. Wow, that's crooked. <laughs> I didn't expect to sit there for 20 minutes. Uh, but I think it is, they only have limited seating. So they're trying to limit. But I wanted to like check out the little out the town and stuff, you know? I, I don't need to eat. I like how they got some service. I think they complained. And so they brought them a boat. Yeah. I kind of feel like that. that's what happened. Hey, a little bit of money. You can have anything you want, right? Where are you from, by the way? Uh, upstate New York. Upstate New York? What part of upstate? Syracuse. Syracuse. Yeah, okay. Syracuse is pretty decent. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not that upstate. Syracuse. Yeah. But uh, so you like it here or you like it in Syracuse right now? Uh, I love it here. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. No kidding. Syracuse is like where I'm from basically. I think it's ton like of snow. 34 to 45 today. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Basically just above zero. Yeah. And uh, six feet of snow probably. No, not not right now. Oh no. A couple weeks ago, they had, oh. they had up in Buffalo. They had about a foot oh. or two. The thing about Buffalo is, you could be driving, there'd be no snow, and in three hours, ten minutes. Yeah, ten, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I meant in, th in three hours, the military is getting you off the highway. Yeah, it's yeah. that crazy sometimes. From that lake effect. Yeah, that lake effect from the Lake Erie. Yep. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, once I came here, I, I never wanted to leave. No. It's been two years for me. You've been here two years? Yeah. Good for you almost two years. Almost two years. But I went to Cambodia first, so that was some time. Then I lived in Albania, then I moved here. Do you work here? Two years ago. YouTube, brother. Really? Yeah. It's That's my it. life. Yeah. yeah. So look at this. Fellow Canadians from North York. Well, Filipino Canadian. Yeah. But uh, here on vacation. I, I think you've done this before, though. Have you been here before? Uh, this is my third time. Third time. Yeah, when was like, the last time? 
I think uh, five years ago. Five years. Yes. Okay. Okay. So and I keep coming back. Yeah. I wonder why. I wonder why. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And, and you look, can tell, right? And look at all this food. Yeah. All kinds of seafood and here. This is our favorite. Yes, buco. 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 Yeah. Buco. Oh my kill. All right, brother. Over here. Yes. Wow. Wow. Look at this layout. All right. We got the fish head and all and the tail you've got your scallops like crazy here uh i think what kind of soup is that that is chicken look at this look at the seafood here you got shrimp lumpia of course yeah lots of scallops that's for sure uh you got pork they got everything rice you name it and of course pepsi Pepsi or Coke is like the national drink of the Philippines. Delicious. All you can eat. Scallops are pretty juicy. I don't. I can't really eat the steamed ones very well, but yeah. Oh yeah, like party music going on. I don't even know if I could use this right now. Check out this spear here. Holy snap! What do you get with this stingray? You just want to be on camera. That's cool. That's cool. Wow. Can't say I've ever used a spear gun before. I gotta go spear fishing one day. Why not? Hello, how's it going? How many people live here? Anybody know? Um, five thousand. Five thousand on this island? Yes. Wow, we can't even tell. It doesn't seem like it's that big. That's amazing. So where is this? Uh, what's this barangay called? Langtangan. Langtangan. Oh, you said more. Un uno? Perok? Perok uno. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Is it? Is that a longo? Yes. Oh, it is a longo here. Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, am I in somebody's way? I can't believe there's 5,000 on this island. Wow. I'm actually really surprised by that. Good afternoon. Nope, somebody's selling ice cream over here. Selecta. Hello, good afternoon. Oh yeah, she's got an ice cream machine there. So yeah, they have a, a, a good electricity here on the island and everything. Can have a freezer like that. Some of the islands I've been to, I wish I remember the name offhand, but um, they just had like a generator they run um, at night and some people pay to get light off of it, that kind of thing. Hello. True province living in paradise because this is like such a beautiful set of islands out here. Ooh, it's like he cranked it up just for me. Woo, that was loud. How are you doing, guys? Afternoon, afternoon. All right, so Robert in Bacola, you let me use your apartment when I was down there. So, my friend, I got you your magnet you wanted from directly from Agantes, not even from the shore. I got it from here. Thank you very much. Two more islands to go. Of course, they saved the best for last, so hang in there. This is going to be nice. This is going to be real sweet. Beautiful thing is, it's pretty much all sand here. Nice and soft. That's like a big, long sandbar. Just keeps going and going. So everybody, this is Liam. He's like the star of the show. Also knows the Spider-Man. What's my name? What is his name? Well, she got it right. Who's that? Who's that? There you go, you're the cameraman. You're the cameraman now. There we go. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is right out of a magazine. This is what you kind of imagine. Actually, you're right. Ili is underrated, but so beautiful. It is. 
This is just absolutely remarkable. And honestly, everybody should come here at least once. Or like that one guy who said this is his third time of visiting here. And you can see why. There is an accommodation that is available here on these islands um, where they'll have a private boat to take you and everything. And it's right over here invisible from here hopefully it'll be not too far away let's see straight across there and so they have some places you can stay in there and then afterwards they can take you over in a small boat to go to all these other other, other islands if you'd like and uh, can you imagine though how peaceful and tranquil it is you could technically just swim right across but it's probably a lot of boats maybe don't do that but look at those waters I love all these little coves they got going on in here. And the water is feeling so good right now because I am sweating so badly. Amazing. Amazing. Friends from New York, they're enjoying yourself too. So I just learned that you can actually rent these for overnight as well. Yes, it's 2,000 pesos up to six uh, people. Uh, clearly you're not getting air conditioning. But, uh, and the other one, uh, four people, is 1,500. But you get to be on this paradise. And at night, of course, there's no tourists. It'll be just you guys. Uh, the good thing about being a tourist is you can show up during the weekdays, right? So this is nothing. You see there's practically nobody here. That is because it's a weekday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday jammed all the boats are out they're jammed packed but on a day like today they'll see 60 to 70 people for the entire day so come monday tuesday wednesday thursday and you will get this almost to yourself so you definitely want to come trip go on the weekend you're going to be packed come during the weekdays for sure off to bentigi sandbar Hi. this way i can remember it wow this place was so beautiful though everybody looks so tired oh my goodness Oh my goodness, yeah, it's exhausting, eh? All this sun? Can I go? Yeah! Bentigi Sandbar! That's where we're going. Bentigi! Bentigi! There we go, Bentigi Sandbar! Alright, Captain, thank you. Thank you, Arnold. All right. So apparently, this area isn't always like this. It could be in each shape any time. And the reason is, is the storms, the waves, everything will sometimes produce lots of sand here. Sometimes it produce no sand here. It depends. It might drag it all out and bring it all back. And it makes it so darn unique. Sometimes very long, sometimes very short. But this time, it goes all the way around the corner here. And doing an overnight here in one of these places would be amazing because you have all this. You'd want to be able to go swimming, just relax, stay out here for like five days, seven days, whatever and then just, just enjoy every single day on a different island. Oh, incredible, incredible that would be. Okay, this is Siren, and you live here? Do you live on this island? What's the name of this island? Montigi Sandbar. That's right, yeah, I even learned that name now. So, what do you got here? Are you selling different things? Are these gifts that you're selling? Yeah. Are you getting shy now? <laughs> Are you getting a little bit shy? Oh. All right, what do you got here? Do you got any necklaces? Yeah. Wh which one's the necklace? Which one's the necklace? This one. That's this one? Yeah. My neck's not that big. My neck's big. 
or maybe they're bracelets right maybe they're bracelets all right how much are these 50. 50 pesos oh that's perfect price okay i i have one that has the black can you give me one of those yeah. thank you it is so now. hot it is so hot it's so hot does anybody get change i have a hundred you have change no. anybody got 250s you guys don't have two fits all right you know what girl keep there you the go change. keep the change keep wow. the change thank you did you make this did you make this did your family make this you're supposed to lie <laughs> are you guys related arnold are you related no sir no you just see her every day yeah every single day so arnold arnold was born and raised here and the last time he was talking about his typhoon was in 2013 yolanda took out his whole house and well everybody's house i guess wiped you all right out eh so let's pray and hope we don't have any more of those typhoons no more like that that's for sure what a beautiful place to grow up and he was explaining every morning go out have coffee down by the water and everything he does not take it for granted living here which is really really amazing Wow. Well, you, you guys got the, right up to the end. You had a good time. That's amazing. All right, so take a look at that rock formation. It is like an alligator tail with scales that run all the way down. And I'm sure I, I misheard him or not. The boat motor was really loud, but L'Antonio or Antonio? Or Antonia, Antonia Island, and uh, it's really, really cool. Like how that rock was shaped that way, beyond me. So yeah, it does say refugee authority. Um, so I'm not sure why the UN would have a refugee camp here, but I don't know. There's nobody over there right now. Oh, they got like a, I don't know if that's for snorkeling or something, probably. Oh yeah, I see somebody snorkeling right there. So they got a whole snorkeling ring over here. I was told that there are other islands a little further back here. More places you can stay overnight. Again, solar and generator only. Uh, no air conditioning. Not that you probably need it at night, to be honest. Um, and uh, they do have areas that are good for scuba diving. And then they also have, uh, some of them have um, jet skis that you can rent. So there's lots of cool things you can do out here. So this is just leftover from Yolanda, um, actually the government of Canada that actually supplied all kinds of them uh, when the typhoon wiped it out. And so they still make use of the tents to this day because why not? And it's not like the government takes them back after uh, the housing is taken care of. So yeah. That's why there's no UN here or anything like that. And there is no refugees. This is the tent you can actually stay in and you can rent it overnight. How much is it again? 250. What was your name? Jessica, sir. So Jessica here is one of the eight family members that own this island. So I got it right from the boss herself uh, of what it's like to uh, live here and what, it, you know, what struggles they go through and that kind of thing. Plus she has some family members in Canada, which is cool. So we got to chat about that. And so yeah, there you go. There's the jet ski. There's a sea doo over there. Manufactured in Quebec, by the way. And uh, then you got here, you see the big banana thing that you can hang on, they can pull. Life jackets and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, they got a lot of fun things for you to do over here. And then they have a whole snorkeling area over here. And that's why they had it all cordoned off. I thought it was a swimming area, but no. That's a snorkeling area. It's part of the tour too, if you want. I'll give you the snorkeling masks. And I think they might even have, do you have a hiking trail up there? Yeah, up the alligator tail? Nice. Kind of, okay. Yeah, because I see flags going all the way up. So there's a lot of fun things to do on this island. You can stay out here. Very beautiful, very beautiful. You have a lovely place. Thank you, sir. Still two more islands to go. Next one's called Little Barakai. But everybody out here is enjoying their time here doing this snorkeling. And it's included, so. I don't have to pay any extra. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. You're turning pretty red now, my friend. I'm a lobster. Yeah, you are a lobster. 
well done on one side. On one, one side only, yep. That's funny. It's all right, you're going back to New York when? 19th, I believe. 19th? Oh, you got plenty of time to redden up. You asked me that at security and I was like, uh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm on vacation. Leave me alone. You're right. I don't want to go home, so I'm not thinking about going home. Yeah, don't even tell me about that my first day. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be back here permanently. Oh, yeah. You never know. You never know. <laughs> brother, Sir, thank you, brother. Thank you eh? so much. This guy, right here. Thank made you. It, he, he, well, all of them. The captain. Oh, Captain. The captain. Did an awesome job. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> thank you These so are much. These amazing. Sir, I gotta be careful. My, my shoes it's falling okay. apart. <laughs> by, by, uh, I have some super glue. <laughs> I can fix my shoes when I get to my car. Anyway, these guys were total legends. Yeah. Have a good night. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got glue in my car. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I gotta walk like this. Uh, I'm heading off to uh, Rojas City because tomorrow I am uh, going back to Pilar, uh, which is a provincial town in uh, Capiz, um, and then uh, Chinese New Year in Rojas City. So I'm still here for several more days and enjoying the good life with my broken flip-flops. All right. Hope you guys are subscribed and uh, hit like, you know, all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again